kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I am going to teach you how to use Retrofit to uh, connect to your web server that is stored in your local host in your machine. So let's get started. So first of all, let's uh, in my previous video, as I had shown you how to use Volley to connect to your. Uh, web server now i will remove <laughs> boldly and i will have to integrate the retrofit uh, dependency along with G uh, retrofit json uh, converter so here we can say implementation com dot google dot code dot json two point six point one then we need another uh, dependency that will be for the re uh, retrofit so here we can have com dot scare up dot retrofit to semicolon retrofit two point one point zero then we will have the retrofit uh, converter for JSON so here we have com dot scare up dot retrofit to converter dash json colon two point one point zero so we have these three codes so we will just click on sync now and it this will be added to our project okay so it is uh, already now connected and uh, integrated to our project so the next thing is we first of all need to create a separate class for our for our api client where we will define our base url so let's go click on new and click on new java class and let's name the class as api client and here we will have public static final string base url and it will be http 192.168. okay so let me first of all uh, find the ip address so now my ip address is 192.168.43.87 all right and after that we will have a public static retrofit uh, retrofit equal to null basically we will have a singleton class so here we can say public static retrofit get api uh, api client and in in this method we will first of all check if retrofill fit is equal to uh, null then we can create a json and we can say equal to new json builder and here we can say set lenient and then we say dot create after that we can say retrofit equal to new retrofit dot builder and here we can say dot base url and we can pass our base url here then we can say add converter factory and then we can say json converter factory dot create and inside that we can pass our json and here we can say dot build all right 
and finally we can return our retrofit object here all right so that was our api client class now we need to create an interface where we will define a method which we can call using this api client so let's click on new and we will create a new java class and instead of this class let's select interface and we have let's name it as api interface and now here we can uh, specify our methods so of we can say call and here we will have uh, the response with in the format of string format then we can say get response from our server and inside that we can pass our url first of all and we can say string you are sorry string url all right and here we can have uh, the annotation as get all right so that was our interface no so, so now let's go back to our main activity and inside our main activity first of all we need to uh, initialize our api interface so here we can say api interface then inside our own create method we can say api interface equal to api client dot get api client dot create and inside that we can say api interface dot class so that is the way of initializing our api interface and then we can create a separate method for our button click event so we can say public void button click and inside that we can say call a uh, string and then we can name it as call then we can say equal to api client dot get response from our th server and what will be our url so here we can say my project slash connection check connection check dot php then we can say call dot nq and we can call the callback and inside our own failure method let's have a method and that will be plus t dot get message and we can print the toast and inside this on response method so we can say string response equal to okay uh, this equal to response dot body and we can simply print our response here in our application and now we just need to use this button click here so we can say button click all right so that is it we have successfully uh, completed the code and now let's run the app so first of all let's open the site sync app and let's connect and it is uh, easily convert, uh, connected so let's run our app and let's see if it works okay so i forgot to modify the file so here let's open go to your project uh, my project and let's edit it and instead of this wall we can just say successful 
uh, if the connection is successful and inside or else we just say failed all right so let's now run the app and let's see the response so when i have clicked here and there you can see we have we don't we are not getting the response okay so let me write okay so uh, we can easily access it but for inside our device let me see if we are able to okay so here we can easily uh, open our project here but here we are not getting the response okay so in this video i also show you how to debug your uh, your code so first of all uh, here click on this and now here you need to click on here and click okay so now there is the debugger that is opened now we can check the value so here i will open the app again and if i click on check so there you can see uh, that we have dish here and you can see message not found there is the message that is not found all right so i think we need to convert to our uh, I think we need to connect to our uh, Wi-Fi so after that uh, it will work so I pause the video alright guys so I have connected with my uh, Wi-Fi so now let's just run our app and there we uh, are now printing the message that is coming from our server and if we click on here and there you can see not found okay so it means that we could not found the let me just run the message again okay so i think i was using the wrong file name so it the file name is check connection node connection check okay and now if we try to run our project yes mm -hmm. now our app is running and if i click on check there you can see the message okay so here let me also see the all the other things uh, with the response so here you can see mess uh, response is here response okay code is 200 and let's say uh, response dot body and there you can see the response body is successful okay so here we can print the message like response dot body and that will be uh, the message successful so guys we have successfully connected to our uh, database in our web server so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye